Hey guys, what's up? So we're going to be looking at mixed operations, right, with decimals. All right, and in this lecture, um, we'll be solving problems dealing with mixed operations, okay? So this says, in solving problems dealing with mixed operations, we need to follow the order of arithmetic operations defined by Bodmas and Bomdas, okay? All right, so let's look at this example here. We have 9.76 plus 1.87 divided by 18.3 minus 15.8. All right, so all right, so we have to follow the rules, right? Um, and we would actually have to divide or multiply first, right? But this is the thing, guys. We can't divide or multiply until we actually um, handle whatever is on top here or whatever is on bottom on the bottom here okay so we're still following the rules right but we in order to solve this question in particular we have to add these two numbers first and subtract these numbers then we divide right um, so yeah we're still following the rules but in this case in order to divide we have to add and um, subtract the the um, bottom and the top. So in this case, we really need to separate these two. Let's call them one and two, right? Uh, so we need to do one and two first before we follow the rules of arithmetic operations, right? So let's do the first one. Um, so one here would represent 9.76 plus 1.8. Eight, seven, right? All right, cool. So let's add these. Seven and six gives us 13, right? Eight and seven gives us 15, right? Plus one gives us 16. So we get 16 here. And then remember to line up the points when you add in, guys, or subtract in. Then nine plus one plus one gives us 11. So this is 11.63. And the second one now, it's 18.3 minus 15.8, right? Cool. So we're going to take one from this 8 and we're going to get 7. And then we have 13 here and 8 minus 13 would give us 5. Let's put the point. Remember, we'll line up the points when we're adding and subtracting with decimals. 5 minus 7 would give us 2, and 1 minus 1 would give us 0. So this is 2.5. All right, so now the answer ends up being, the question ends up being 11.63 divided by 2.5, right? All right, so we're in a much better position now to solve the question. So now we can uh, use the D, which is divide. Now we can divide, right? So we're going to end up with... 11.63 divided by 2.5. Well, remember when we're dividing, right? Let's write it this way, 11.63 divided by 2.5. We want the right number to be a whole number, right? We don't want it to be a decimal. So we're going to move this decimal place one time to the right. Same thing here. We're going to move this decimal place one time to the right. And we're going to end up with 116.3 divided by 2.5. Cool. Uh, not 2.5, 25. Right, divided by 25. All right. Cool. So let's just solve that now. Um, 25 into 116.3. So 25 can go into 116 four times. So we'd get 100 here. Minus that gives us 16, right? 25 can't go into 16, so we're going to put a point here. Uh, so we're going to carry down this 3, and 25 can go into 163 uh, 6 times, and 6 times 25 is 150, right? This is a 6. Right, so we'll get 13. Then we're going to add a 0 to this 13 here, and we'll get 130. 25 can go into 135 times, which gives us 125, right? Subtract that would give us 5. Then... We're going to add another 0 here, right? And 25 can go into 50 uh, two times. So we're going to get 50 minus 50 here. 
and that would end up being zero, right? All right, so the answer, right? The answer for this question is actually 4.652, all right? So this is the answer for the question, guys. Uh, so you notice this was a little different. Uh, we have to solve the the um, equation on the top first and the equation on the bottom first before we um, before we follow the rules, right? So these guys are a little tricky, but we just have to take our time and work through them. Um, when it says evaluate, most of the time they want you to show the working. So they don't want you to just put it in your calculator and then... Um, write it out they really want you to show the working so they want to see you at the top they want you to, to see you subtract the bottom and then after that they want to see you divide using long division to show your working that you really know what you're doing instead of just using a calculator all right guys all right so we're gonna do two more questions you know i love to do three questions right so let's move on awesome guys so let's look at this second question now and this question says Evaluate 4.2 multiplied by 86 divided by 3.2 multiplied by 0.47, right? To two decimal places. Um, I know it's the first time you've seen this two decimal place thing, but we're going to explain that in a moment. But I'm just giving you a, a little taste, a little introduction, right? All right. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to break this up, right? We'll have to do the top and the bottom, right? Um, so we're going to break that up first, then we're going to divide. So we're going to multiply this 4.2, this is 1, multiply this 4.2 um, by the 86, right? So 8 would be here and 6 would be here. The point is here. And I'm going to add 0 as a placeholder here. Um, I always put the bigger number there. I always put the bigger number first and then the smaller number second. All right. So let's multiply these guys. Um, 2 times 0 gives us 0. 2 times 6 gives us 12. So that's 1 and 2. 2 times 8 gives us 16 plus 1 gives us 17. Right? All right. Then we're going to multiply by the 4 now. And we're going to put a placeholder of 0 here. Then 4 times 0 should give us 0. 6, 4 is 24. So we get a 2 here and a 4 here. 4 times 8 is 32, plus 2 gives us um, 34, right? All right. So we're going to draw a line here. Cool. And we're going to add these, right? That's what we usually do um, when multiplying. So we're going to add these. We're going to get 0, 2. 0 plus 2 gives us 2. 4 plus 7 gives us 11. So that's 1, 1. 4, 1, and... 1 here gives us 6, and then 3 here is 3, 6, 1, 2, 0, right? Cool. So, great. So, how do we know how many decimal places? Well, we'll put a placeholder for 0 here, and the 2 is here. So, we know that we're going to need two decimal places in our answer, right? So, the we're going to put the point here, and the answer is 361.2, all right? But that's the just number 1. We'll have to do the bottom as well which is 2, right? So 2 here, uh, we're going to put a divide symbol here. So 2 is going to be 3.2, right? And multiplied by 0 0.47, okay? And I'm going to put a placeholder for a 0 here. Um, I always put the big number first. And then, great. So we're going to draw a little line here. Now we're going to multiply this out. Okay, guys. So 7 times 0 would give us 0. 7 times 2 would give me 14. 1 and 4. Then 7 times 3 would be 21. Plus 1 gives us 22. Right? Then, yeah, we'll finish there. Then we're going to do the 4 now. So we're going to put a 0 for the placeholder. Then 4 times 0 would give us 0. 4 times 2 would give us 8. Then 4 times 3 would give us 12. All right. Then we're going to add these guys. And when we add them now, we're going to end up with 0 plus 0, which is 0. 4 plus 0, which is 4. 8 plus 2, which is 10. All right. 
and 2 plus 2 plus 1 which is 5 so that's 1 5 0 4 0 right all right cool okay guys so we end up with 361.20 right divided by okay oh yeah I forgot the decimal places here um, there are four decimal places including the placeholder so there are four numbers one two three four so it's four decimal places one two three four all right so it's three six one point two zero divided by one point five zero four zero right okay so what we usually do when we divide guys we need this the number on the right here to be a whole number okay so we're gonna move this decimal place one two three yeah, one, two, three. That's it. Right here. Right? So we're gonna move this one three times as well. One, two, three. So it would be right here. A placeholder of zero here. So we're gonna end up with three six one two zero zero divided by one five zero four. Cool. Alright, so let's just let's just do that one up here then. One five zero four divided by three six one two zero zero right all right guys so let's get going with this uh so one five zero four can go into three six one two two times right so two times one five zero four would be three zero zero eight right so gonna subtract that from that and we should get six zero four, right? Yeah, um, this would end up being zero. Twelve minus eight gives us that. Zero minus zero gives us zero. Three minus three is is just cancelled out, and zero minus six gives us six zero four. Then one five zero four can't go into six zero four, so we'll carry down this zero, and it can go. 1504 can go into 6040 four times. So we're going to put that there and we're going to get uh, four times 1504, which is 6016. And we're going to subtract that. Um, we should get three here and then we'll get a four. One minus three gives us 24. Six minus six cancels out. All right, so we'll get 24. Now, uh, 1504 can't go into 24, so we're going to carry down this 0. And this cannot go into 240, so we're going to put a 0 here and put a point. Then we're going to carry down another 0. And um, 1504 can go into 2400 one time. All right, so we're going to get 1 here and subtract 1504 from that one and we end up with oh man all right from that subtract 1504 from 2400 and we end up with 896 right uh now we're gonna carry down another zero uh, for the next decimal place and we're going to get um, five times, right? 1504 can go into 8960 times. And then we're going to end up with 7520, right? We're going to subtract that. But guess what, guys? Um, this would go on, this would really go on continually, right? So the answer said it should be in two decimal places. And you notice these are two decimal places here. One five, those are the two decimal places. So we pretty much found the answer. We don't need to continue, all right? And we're gonna write out the answer as two four zero point one five. All right, guys. Awesome. Awesome, guys. So we're gonna look at the next question now. Um, and of course, we have to separate the top from the bottom, right? Um, and the top here is its own question, 
right? Uh, and we're going to follow the rules of bomb that's our bad mass to do the question. So the first thing we have to do is um, either divide or multiply, right? There are no brackets there. Well, oh yeah, let me remove those brackets. There are really no brackets there, all right, guys? Um, yeah, there are no brackets there. So the first thing we have to do is either divide or multiply in the top line. Uh, so there's no division there, so we're going to multiply first. So we'll have to do this um, this multiplication here. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is multiply the 9.34 multiplied by 5.23. Okay, so that's the first thing we're going to do. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to do here is multiply this 5.23 by the 9.34. Okay. So this 3 times 4 should give us 12. That's 1 and 2 here. 3 times 3 should give us 9 plus 1, which is 1 and 0 here. That's 10. 9 times 3 should give us 27 plus 1 gives us 28. All right. Then we're going to do the 2 now. So for the 2 here, we're going to have a place value of 0 here. 2 times 4 should give us 8. 2 times 3 should give us... 6 and 9 times 2 should give us 18, right? So that's 1, 8. All right. Now, 5 for the 5, we need two placeholders of zeros here. Then 5 times 4 would give us 20, 2, 0. 3 times, right, 3 times 5 would give us 15. 15 plus 2 would give us 17. So that's 1, 7, then 5 times 9 would give us 45 plus 1, which is 46. All right, guys. So we're going to add these now. And when we add these, we should get 2, 8, right? 2 and the zeros, and 8 and the zeros give us 8. Then 6 plus 8 should give us 14. All right. So that's 14. Then 8 plus 2 would give us 10 plus 7, which would be 17 plus 1 would give us 18. So that's 1, 8. 6 plus 1 plus 1 is 8. And then 4 here. All right. All right, guys. And how many decimal places should we have? We should have 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. So we're going to end up with 1, 2, 3, 4. The point is right here. All right. So we end up with... Uh, 48.8482, all right? So for the answer now, um, well, for the question, we're going to end up with 73.18 minus 48.8482 all over 2, right? Divided by 2. All right, so well, divided by 2. All right. Okay, so we need to subtract um, the 7318 from the 48.8482. So let's do that. 73.18 minus 48.8482. All right, so we need two placeholders here, 0 and 0. So let's go. And 2 minus 0, we're going to have to take one from here. We're going to end up with 7. 10, break out the 10, you get 9, and we're going to get 10 here. So 2 minus 10 would give us 8. 8 minus 9 would give us 1. 4 minus 7 would give us 3. 8 minus 1, we'll have to break 1 from here. So we're going to get 11 minus 8, which is 3, right? Then, uh, hmm, yeah, we'll have to break 1 from this 7, which would give us 6. And 12 here, 8 minus 12 would give us 4. And 4 minus 6 would give us 2. So we end up with we end up with 2, 4, 3, 3, 1, 8 divided by 2. Alright? So let's do that over here. Let's do that right over here. Okay. Okay, so 2, 4. 0.3318 divided by 2. So we know 2 goes into 24 12 times. So we're going to get 24 minus 
24, which would be 0, right? Um, then 2 can't go into 0, so we're going to put a decimal place here. Then we're going to carry down this 3. 2 can go into 3 one time. So 2 minus 3 would give us 1. Then carry down this 3. 2 into 13 goes 6 times. So we'd, 12 minus 13 gives us 1. Then carry down this 1. 2 goes into 11 5 times. Right? So we're going to get 10. 2 times 5 is 10. So we're going to get 1 here. And then we're going to carry down this 8. And we're going to get 9 here. Right? And 18 minus 18 gives us 0. All right? Okay, so the answer, guys, is actually 12.1659. All right, guys? And this is the answer. Cool? Awesome. All right, so this is the end of this lecture, guys. And have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. All right, guys. So that's it. And I'll see you in the next lecture. And remember to do your best and God will do the rest.